Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to increase the virtual memory on all kind of Windows PC, including 7, 8, 10 or 11. So you have a default feature on Windows where you can increase the virtual memory and that basically help your PC to improve the overall performance and more efficient for gaming. I won't be going through with a lot explanation about the virtual memory, but let me tell you in short, Virtual memory basically uses both hardware and software to enable a computer to compensate for the physical memory shortages. So whenever there is a shortage of the RAM, this virtual memory come in the place and they help to compensate it. So now in order to check that how much virtual memory you have, we just need to make a right click on the windows icon then click on settings, click on system and from the left hand menu, click on storage. And here below more storage setting, you will find view storage usage on other drives. So just click on it and then click on local disk C and then on system reserved. And here you will see that the virtual memory that I have currently is 2.39 gigabyte and I need to extend it and I will take above than 30 gigabyte. All right. So how you have to do just close everything again. You can make a note of it if you want to and then close everything. Just make a right click on the windows icon again. Click on settings, system. And now at the very bottom, you will see the about section. This can be by about or about this PC. So you have to click on this. And now here you can see your installed RAM. So this is the physical RAM that you have right now. In my case, you can see I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So you just need to keep this in your mind because you need to remember that how much RAM you have on your device. Okay now on the right hand side you will see advanced system settings. Just click on it and a new box of system properties will be coming up and here in the performance just click on settings and then click on advanced. Now here you will see the virtual memory. Just click on change and now here in the virtual memory, you can see it's been checked to automatically manage paging file size for your drives. So you need to uncheck this and then check the box of custom size. So here you have the two option initial size and the maximum size. So now in the initial size, you have to type the value that should be 1.5 times of your physical RAM. So let's say if I have 16 gigabyte of RAM, so I need to convert that in MB first because you can see that it says that you have to type in MB. So one MB, one gigabyte contains 1024. So let me open the calculator quickly. So one GB contains 1024 and I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So I calculate, I just multiply by 16. So this is the value that comes for 16 GB of RAM. So as I said that in the initial size, it should be 1.5 times. So I will just multiply by 1.5. And this is the value 24576. 24576. Now in the maximum size, it should be the three times of your RAM. Okay, so I go back again. I just cancel it. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. I have to convert into MB. So I multiply by 1024. And now, as I said, three times, so I'll, let me multiply it by three. And this is the value 49152. And that's it. Now click on set, then click on OK. And then click on OK again. And finally, click on OK. And now you just need to simply go with a restart. And after that, once you come back, you will find that your memory size has been increased. All right, so I have just restarted my PC and now if I go back again, I click on it, click on the Windows icon, then go on settings, click on system and then go to storage. And here again, we have storage usage on other drives, local disk C, system reserved. And here it goes. You can see the virtual memory has gone to 34.8 gigabyte. This lets your PC run multiple apps at the same time. So you can understand the difference that how this will be helping you to run multiple apps and to manage the RAM of your computer. So this will be really helpful guys. You should do it right now. 
and this will surely improve the overall performance and especially if you are in gaming or using a uh, multiple app at the same time hopefully you love this video guys and if yes make sure that you hit the like button please and subscribe to the channel for more related videos thanks so much